As I said during the introduction to the class, we're going to be using third angle projection. So in this case, the object sits inside a box, and the planes that we're going to be projecting are all at 90 degrees to each other. So the top view is at 90 degrees to the top, and they're both at 90 degrees to the side. So after we get it unfolded and make it into 2D, this is what we get. So we get the folding lines between the views of where the box is folded. Also, we can see that everything lines up. So we have a line here, we have a line here, everything lines up across the top, this point lines up that line, so everything's lined up. <clears throat> so into our example here, we're going to start with just using some points. Start out simple, we'll work our way to harder and harder, more complex things. <clears throat> so if I draw a line from here to this point, and from this point to this point, you can see that that projection line is perpendicular to the folding line. So I can also just copy down my point names. So I have points A and B labeled in the in the front view also. <clears throat> so now if I wanted to go to the right side view, I'm going to need to project those lines. So if my folding line is at 90 degrees, I'm going to draw my projection lines at zero. So I have a 90 degree angle there also. So I know that point A is somewhere along this line. And I know point B is somewhere along this line. But I don't know how far out it is. So I don't know exactly where the point is. But in order to find that, I always know that I project from the first view away. And then from the second view away, I can get the distance. So if you had an object and you were looking at this, you can see that this distance here it's the same as this distance here. And that distance there is the same as that distance there. <clears throat> that makes intuitive sense, but how do we get that from here to here? Well, we're going to use offset. And we're not going to go ahead and measure it out first and then type in a distance. We're just going to pick here and pick here. And then pick our folding line and go out. So we're just picking from the point to the folding line, from the folding line, offsetting out. So now we know that point B, if we bring it down and across, we know is the first line. And then we know that point A comes down and across and was the further away one. So now that we have those points, we see that A comes down and across, and the distance is the same as it was in the top view. So that's how we go from having just two views to having the third view. We always project from the first view away and we get the distance from two views away. So in this example we have two point two there are three points and they're all lying on this plane somewhere. We don't know exactly where, but how do we find that out? Well we're just gonna project them straight down until they hit that plane. So I'm just gonna project from here to here, here to here in here to here. And while I'm at it, I'll just project them out to the side also. So I'm going to be making that right side view. <clears throat> so I know that they hit that plane and then I can just bring it out. So again, I'm just going to take the distances from the top view. So I'm going to offset from B to the folding plane, folding plane out to B. From C to the folding plane, And when you only have a few points, it's okay to kind of do them all first and then put your things out. Once you get more than a, a few points, you might want to do them one at a time. And I'll show you on the next example another way to keep track of it. So then now I can just copy those point labels. So B was the second one. And C was the first one. And A was the furthest one. So I'm just going to erase all of those. I'm going to switch my layer to the plane layer. And I'm just going to draw a P line. Oops, I lost my point A. So I'll just bring that back down again. And then I can shorten the plane here just by using my grips.
So there I have the top view of the plane. It's kind of a skewed angle, so I'm not looking straight at it. We'll get to how to look straight at the plane later. Over here I have another skewed view of it. And here I see the plane just as a line. That's just called an edge view, so I'm looking down the edge of the plane. So over here I've got three points again, but now they're not on a plane, but they do make up a plane. So I'm going to make a right side view of this plane that's again at a skew. <clears throat> so I'm going to just copy down my points so I kind of keep track of what's what. And now I'm just going to connect them. Go back to my construction layer. This time I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So instead of drawing my projection lines first, I'm going to do my distances first. So I'm going to offset from here to here. So that was point C. From here to here for point B. From here to here. Oh, A and C look pretty close, so let's make sure we see which one it goes. So that's the A line. So now when I draw them out, I can draw my line from here. I'm going to just end it right on the line that it needs to be at. Now I'll just connect those end, the endpoints of those three lines to make my plane. Then I'll just construct the plane on the other two views also. So now I have the plane drawn out in all three views. So the same thing kind of continues on no matter how many points you have. So if you have three points, four points, five points, or even six points on a plane, we can do the same thing. Here's a couple examples of three points that are skew. And then here's four points that are on a plane. So in cases where there's four points, they might not all line a plane. In this case, they do. And later on, we'll get to seeing and determining which ones don't line on the same plane as everything else. Then here's two examples with six points on a plane. On these ones, go from the letter or order to connect. So A, B, C, D, E, F. You'll notice that the top view is the same on each of these, but the front view is pretty different. There's some similarities, so C and D still line up, but now how they line up is a little bit differently. So, alright, good luck on the exercises, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.